the Country Profiles project that we conducted uh, on behalf of the Regional Consultative Group uh, and in association with the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs looked at five of the most disaster prone uh, states within our region and it looked at the issue of civil military police coordination in disaster response. For responders to disasters in Asia, the guide looks very clearly at the national disaster response processes for five high vulnerability countries, Indonesia, the Philippines, Bangladesh, Nepal and Myanmar. Every country has got a different approach to civil military police coordination and that's for a range of political, historical uh, and cultural reasons and we certainly don't want to change that. What we need to understand is that when we deploy into an operational context uh, that we understand the context that the coalition of states that is banding together to lend a hand is going into. So if you are on a plane deploying to one of these countries, you can pick up that guide, understand what you're going to find when you get there, what those coordination mechanisms are going to look like, and where you need to plug in and who those key focal points are, so that the response will be better coordinated and meet the government's requirements of that affected country. It's very much a document that will pull off the shelf when something happens so that we understand how we can help and uh, what are the considerations that are going to apply in the planning and execution of a disaster response mission.